Okay, hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do another cool, fun, and creative photo. This one is actually going to be me coming out of a television. So, just a second ago, I took three photos. Well, I took four, but I didn't like one of them. And one was of a television. I think a game of Wimbledon was on. The second one was me giving myself the thumbs up. Uh, and then me again. And then one was a piece of wood. And uh, all of this will come clear to you in a minute. So what I'll do is, to make an interesting image, I'm going to open up GIMP. GIMP 2.6. So, once you open up GIMP, you have you have to open up your images. So you go to File, Open, so that one, that one, and that one. So you can highlight all three at the same time to open. Okay, and what we need to do is, with this image, we need to make sure that the television is straight. So for me, I go up to View. And then I click on show grid. Now you can decide on how many lines there are in the grid in the oh, options tab, uh, but I'm quite happy with this. And what I need to do is zoom in onto the television, and I want to make it so that the television is pretty much square onto my image. I tried to do it when I was taking the photo, but um, obviously it didn't quite work. So for making it square onto the image, we do the rotate tool here. And that will rotate this image. So all I need to do is hold it. A bit will come up and just kind of have to use your eyes. That looks pretty good. You see the line straight there, straight there, straight there. Okay, I'm happy with that rotation. So that is a almost one degree of rotation. Not very much, but you would notice it in the final image. So that will start rotating now. Okay, so that's the image more square on. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, delete what's on the television. So first of all, go back to view, get rid of the grid, and we're going to make a selection. So for this one, we'll just go for the rectangle tool and click it up in the top and bring it down to the other side. And try and do it as accurately as possible. But also another good thing is to, if you think it might not be quite accurate enough, you can feather the edge. So with this selection here, you can go to you can go to select and then down to feather. I would say if you think you've been pretty accurate, five pixels will be enough. I might just go for six. Um, depends on the resolution that you've used and uh, and how unaccurate you are. Okay. Now all I need to do is click delete. And da da, the person from television has gone. If I go to select all. As you can see, it looks like there's been nothing on the television. You could probably tell there's a little bit around there, uh, but it's not too bad. So next we'll do is we'll go up to my random piece of wood. So this is going to be the background of my television screen. So for that, again, click the rectangle tool, choose a bit of it, and then press Control C. Then I can close that down. Click Save. And then on back onto my first image, click on it and press Control V. Now, as you can see, that's made a big, that's made a big bit of uh, wood right in the middle of our screen. So we don't want that. What we first of all, what we need to do is get rid of it as a floating layer, make it a new layer there, and we just need to put it behind the layer that we've got before us. Okay, so the quick way of doing it is actually just clicking on the layer um, and pressing this little green button down at the bottom here. That will lower the level of the image. That goes down. And now you'll see our wooden panel is inside the television screen. Great. Okay, so that's quite interesting. Now what we'll do is we'll bring up the image of me coming out. Okay, so here's me again. And what we want to do is do a selection around me. So first of all, let's zoom in. So it's just me. Uh, let's put it full screen. I'm just going to do this quite quickly. So I'll just use the scissors tool again. So start my head, down to my ear. Uh, 
And as I'm not going to be using all of myself, I'm just going to make it pretty basic around the, around the bottom. Okay, so once I've uh, put all the selections of myself, I then just click once inside. That's me selected, and I press Control C. Now I can put that down, and I'm going to go back to this image, and just click anywhere in it, and press Control V. And as you can see, that's me already inside the television. So what we'll need to do is we also need to make this a new layer. And now I'm back on top of the TV. So what I need to do is actually make a duplicate layer. Because half of me is going to be in the TV and another bit of me is going to be outside the TV. So firstly what I need to do, do is with my first pasted layer is I need to put it below my background layer. So it'll still be on top of my piece of wood but it'll be behind my, tel uh, behind my television. So click down and you'll notice nothing has actually changed in the image but if we get rid of our duplicate layer, then I am actually still behind it. So what we need to do now is actually get my arm to come back out. So in my pasted layer, I'll just bring the opacity down a little bit so you can see which bits are not being uh, shown. And we will go to add layer mask. Now this one we are going to do, we want it full transparency. Uh, so in other words, you can't see um, what's there and we'll be drawing myself back in. So I've got to add and I think with this we press the eraser button get a nice big one maybe a bit bigger and I can now just draw in my hand and that's it. Bring back the, if we go back to the layers icon make it full opacity there you see I have actually got my whole self in. So what to do is go to apply layer mask. So effectively in one image all there is is a bit of my arm. And in the next images slowly comes apart. There's me inside the television with my arm coming outside. Then what we need to do is Click anywhere in the image and go to image, flatten image, and there is an image of me coming out of the television. So I made a selection and then I go to crop to selection. Let's zoom in. And there you go, there is an image of myself taking a picture and my arm coming out of the television. So, it wasn't too difficult, um, there's, you can do it a lot more accurately, um, but that's just a nice quick way of doing it. If you've got any questions, leave me an email or uh, just subscribe and put a message on my board and uh, I'll see if I can do any more for you. Hope that helps, thanks a lot, bye.